What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. We are heading in towards very important numbers for Tesla as tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. They should be delivering their delivery numbers. See, I did their delivering the delivery numbers. Anyways, it is April Fool's, but that being said, there is actually a leak that came out with Tesla. We'll get to that after we do cover the current situation that the company is in. I want to go through the bearish perspective. I'm going to go through the bullish perspective, and then I want to go through the leak that came out just a few hours ago. All right. Now, if you guys haven't yet, of course, smash the like button, engage with the video. For anybody out there looking for more information on trading feel free to join us guys the link in the description below two weeks free trading with the team call outs watch list daily update watch list uh, weekly videos for you guys have the overall game plan for everything that we do in the market we had a wonderful play this morning with lyft a wonderful play this morning with google over 150 to 300 percent calls on google but i accidentally stopped out at 17 percent so a big W for me, also a big, big L so far this morning. Just keeping it real. All right, guys, so let's get into this. Right now, what kind of situation is Tesla in? Tesla expected uh, to report first quarter of deliveries next week. Joining us uh, now on why he's lowering his price target on the stock ahead of those numbers uh, is Dan Ives, Wedbush Securities uh, Managing Partner. Just so you guys know, this is somebody who is bullish on Tesla, who wants to see upside, but even he has decided to take his foot off the gas a little bit here with these short-term expectations. He does a great job of breaking this down so you guys get a good understanding of what to expect potentially before we get the numbers tomorrow at 9 a.m. I don't know. It just makes me smile a little bit, Dan. Um, you could be lowering your numbers because the stock's at 175 and your, your target's 315. That would be one. That'd be a good reason. We'll get all your other reasons, but that that that's a good start, I think. Uh, but it's a little bit odd. You're you're going down fifteen dollars to three hundred, and you're keeping an outperform rating. All this sounds sort of I don't know too little, too late. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's obviously a great point. We're bullish for Tesla on the other side. Well, you must be because you still you still have a three hundred dollar yeah, price target. Yeah, challenging. What, what, what's that return from one eighty to, to three hundred is? So you're still looking for like a seventy percent return. Yeah, right? and and look, we've been here before. In other words, like there's no doubt, and we call it out. I mean, this is a code red situation for Tesla. I mean, they are going through some dark days in China from a demand perspective. But but Joe, I believe on the other side of this. This is a company, not just from an FSD perspective, but from volume that could start to get two and a half, three million vehicles per year as we go into next few years. Our whole point here is you're in between two growth waves here. They clearly need to lay out a strategy for investors because this is going to be a rip the band aid off delivery quarter next week. And, and there's no smoke and mirror about it. And, you know, I think right now for Musk, I kind of view it as a fork in the road period to hand old investors through this. You are pretty blunt. First quarter deliveries for Tesla, and we'll find out next week, but you expect it to be a nightmare quarter because of China and mm -hmm. China demand. Yeah, I mean, China, we, we originally had that up 3 4%. It's going to be down 3 to 4%. And, 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 the issue swing, here, yeah. and the issue here is just th that Game of Thrones price war that's happened in China with EVs. It's, it's hurt Tesla, and I think right now the problem is, do they continue to cut prices, or, the, or do they ultimately hold serve and focus on where demand could be? And I think as much as we talk about FSD and why we're long-term bullish, and I do believe we're sitting here a year, year and a half now to trillion dollar plus mark cap. Yeah, so when we were up at 300 or 299, wherever it was, I, I get at that point were you still worried about supply and, and you didn't see the demand issues coming? Yeah. I now, when he says between two waves, seeing one growth wave from one perspective, I think he's talking about specifically EVs to another growth wave, where I think he's going to be speaking about a little more FSD and AI. That's the real two waves he's speaking about here. Now, if the most one of the most bullish people on Wall Street also has a very bearish perspective here there could potentially be an upset towards the upside for Tesla, but we'll get to that after this is finished. If you guys haven't yet, of course, smash the like button, engage with the video. Let me know if you guys think in the comment section below whether they are going to beat or miss the deliveries. Let's go. I think where we were dead wrong is underestimating just how bad China demand was going to be. China demand. So is it for us, when I look back, that's really what's caught us, I think, many by surprise in terms of just how quickly demands come off, but also with no adult in the room and with two disaster conference calls in a row, they haven't laid out guidance, they haven't given the strategy, 
you've had other noise in terms of the AI issues with Musk and, and obviously the Delaware comp issue, which is added to it. But I think that that's the problem. They haven't laid out the strategy to where investors right now feel like they're blindfolded playing darts. Do you, you have a price target in terms of 300, but you think we're near a low here? depending oh. on what happens last next week? I mean, I think right now a it's lot of the bad news is ba I mean, we wouldn't be bullish if I didn't think that this stock is, is Why near. Why not put a buy on it then? Well, that these are highest rating. Outperforms our, it, it, your highest rating? Outperforming. Okay. It's on our top picks list. And I just view it as we've been through these white knuckle periods before over the years. This is another one now that we're hitting. And we're just calling it out, give out the strategy to what Musk needs to do in the conference call to get through some dark he, he days. He doesn't ahead. really listen, though. To, to you know, we've seen when you ask him about how do you feel about criticism. And, you know, he he doesn't. Mm. He's going to do what he thinks is right, and, and he's in a position to be able to do that. No doubt, but I do. Will think he get? Will he? You said no adults in the room. You think he'll return to to, to giving the street what it wants in these calls? Well, I think. Every I think. I think what he's trying to break down here is the very simple fact that. At this point in time, with the situation that Tesla's currently in with the current pullback, we've seen it time and time again. He's very right. And I think we kind of have enough here from this interview to get a great perspective on what the upside and downside could look like here. I want to look at Tesla, the actual stock itself. Obviously, over the last few months here, you've seen a significant decline here in the overall share price, right? We've seen highs of roughly 300 bucks here just in July of 2023. Now to it seeing roughly half that um, at the end of February into the middle of March. And now what we're currently looking at is a stock sitting between two different gaps here. One gap back up towards 187, one gap back down towards 165, and tomorrow the delivery numbers are going to come out. So what he's trying to get across is while investors are going to be going through this period, this downward trajectory period, this bottoming out period, the way in which they need communication to be cannot be the way it has been over the past three to four months while the stock was making significant higher highs. It's a different environment right now. What they need is hand-holding. What they need is a, a plan of attack. What they need is confidence and well-communicated strategy in regards to what the plan is going to be for the company for these turbulent times. When things are up and everything is ripping, they don't need as much breakdown, right? But that being said, guys, that's a little bit of insight before we get towards the numbers tomorrow. I also do want to say, take a look at this tesla has accidentally leaked new fsd subscription pricing should be easier to keep enjoying fsd after the free promo expires in may so it says here um you know 69 dollars per month uh there's a free tier as well and it's also unlimited for 140 dollars a month so just a little bit of an update there was some information that's, that's leaked whether that was intentionally or unintentionally and of course the fact that we have data tomorrow now because everyone i've never seen so many people so bearish with tesla i could actually see tesla you know beating the lowered expectation numbers here and seeing some short-term upside, even if I were to just gap up and then fill the gap right back down after open, I could definitely see Tesla gap up because it, it wouldn't have to do that much. The expectation from across the board right now is that they're going to miss even with the lowered expectation numbers. So even if they come in a thousand cars higher than the lowered expectation, it's still a beat. And to me, it's like the bar is set so low for Tesla. The chances of them coming out with a beat to me as just significantly higher than what people are pricing in and that's just my personal opinion but we'll see what happens tomorrow guys uh my name is tmi i am the mass investor hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did of course smash the like button engage with the video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below with tesla and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next video much love guys deuces